Hello, this is Dr. Harlan. The video you're about to watch is a representation of me interviewing a standardized patient. I hope that this helps as you prepare for your physical exam OSCE. A couple of things that I want you to note. One is how I narrate the script. I use both some regular lay terms as well as the medical terms that you'll find on your checkpoint. I also try not to overexplain, but really move through the sequence of events. So you'll watch me do inspection, then auscultation, percussion, and finally palpation. Also, please note how I try and maintain patient modesty using the drape appropriately, as well as making sure that the patient is comfortable. Ideally, this exam would take you less than 10 minutes to perform. So good luck as you prepare for your physical exam OSCE. Hi, Mr. Rubin. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Just gel my hands here. My name is Dr. Greg Harlan. Uh -huh. I'm an attending physician here at Keck. Mm -hmm. I'm here today to perform an abdominal exam. Okay. And sound okay? Yeah. All right. So are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. Decently? Okay. Well, let me know if you're not, um, and I'll do my best to, to make sure that you are. Okay. Um, do you mind, before we start, just telling me how old you are? I'm 40. 40? Okay. And what gender do you identify with? Male. Okay, so you're a 40-year-old male. Uh, you seem to be in uh, no distress, resting relatively comfortably, seem to have adequate uh, nutrition. Um, good. Before we uh, have you lay down to perform the abdominal exam, um, I just wanted to review some general uh, findings that as I just look at you, mm -hmm. uh, might tell me more about your overall health. Mm -hmm. So a couple of things to start. Do you mind just pulling down your eyelids? I'm looking for pallor and for the color of your conjunctiva. We're looking for jaundice, that all looks good. Do you mind also pulling down your lower lip mm -hmm. so I can look inside also for pallor? Okay, good. Do you mind if I look at your palms? So looking for palmar erythema, which I don't see. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I'll go ahead and have you lay back. I'm gonna grab the drape here and pull out this tray so that you can rest your legs. Okay. Great. I'm just going to drape you to maintain as much modesty as I can. And then would you mind just pulling your gown up till about uh, just below your ribs? Sure. And I'm going to cover you as well. So intention is to expose the parts that uh, we need to see, but not to leave you uncomfortable. Okay. So first I'm just going to inspect as I'm looking at your belly. Um, have you ever had any uh, surgery on your belly? No. No. Okay. So I don't see any scars. I don't see any venous distension or any rashes. Um, any other masses that are obvious. Okay, good. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is listen to your belly. Mm -hmm. So if that's okay, you don't have to do anything. You just lay. I'm going to listen for your bowel sounds. Okay. Is that painful at all? No. No. How about that? No. No. Okay. Sound like you may be a little hungry. <laughs> so just listening for your bowel sounds, I hear they're normally active, nothing hyperactive or hypoactive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, percuss, which is just tapping lightly on your belly. Tell me if anything bothers you. It's okay. painful. I'm going to start up here. So over your stomach is normally tympanitic like this. It's a little higher pitched, whereas the other parts are a little more dull, which is fine. Good. And that's not bothering you? No. Got it. Okay. Good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also percuss for your liver. So try and determine the size of your liver, and then I'll try and feel for that as well. Okay. Okay, so the bottom margin is right here at this uh, freckle. And then for the same, would you mind pulling your gown up a little bit so I can access your chest? Yeah, so the upper border is here. So I'm going to measure between those two. 
and between the two is 11 centimeters. So the liver span is 11 centimeters in the right mid clavicular line, which is also normal between six and 12 is normal. I'm going to touch lightly on your belly. I want you to let me know if any of this is painful. Does that bother you at all? No. no. Okay. And I'm just feeling for masses or for uh, any other tenderness. I'm going to feel a little deeper, some deep palpation. Also feeling for masses. painful at all? No, it's okay. No. Okay. Got it. And I'm looking for if it's painful for you, if there's any guarding, I don't notice anything abnormal as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and feel your liver two different ways. I'm going to start um, with a direct palpation. So I'm going to press in slightly. I want you to take a breath. You'll feel me push a little bit underneath okay. your ribs. Okay, just uh, breathe normally. Take a breath in and out. Okay, again, and out, okay, one more time, and out, does that bother you? No. Okay, good, and now I'm going to do the hooking technique, which is the other side, so I'll have you take another big breath, and breathe out, okay, and then one more time, and then out. Okay, great. I'm going to do the same thing for your spleen, which is on this side. You can just breathe normally first. Okay. You doing okay? Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. I'm going to have you take a big breath. And out. Good. Is that tender or painful at all? No. No. Okay, just two more things. I'm going to feel over your pubic area. Tell me if that's painful. Mm -hmm. Looking for super pubic tenderness, which I don't appreciate. And then last, I'll have you sit up. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to tap on your back. So I'm going to check for cost over T roll angle tenderness. Let me know if that hurts. No. No? No. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Well, Mr. Rubin, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, that concludes the abdominal exam. It's been nice uh, meeting you today. Nice meeting you. Thank you.